We are a relational mission. A family of churches. Together we preach Christ and plant and strengthen churches to the ends of the earth. Our vision is to be globally fruitful, crossing all boundaries to reach the nations, make disciples and plant locally led churches. We believe God has said that we can expect to achieve more in 20 years than many have in 50. Imagine us establishing five multiplying churches in each continent of the world by 2030. Stimulating a fresh wave of church planting into UK cities, towns and villages, 100 by 2040. Planting 20 churches in each of the other 50 European nations by 2050. That's an incredible vision. Five multiplying churches in each continent by 2030. 100 church plants in the UK by 2040. 20 churches in each of the other 50 European nations by 2050. If we focus just on Northern Europe for now, there's a desperate need. 250,000 villages, towns and cities are without an evangelical witness, let alone a vibrant New Testament Word and Spirit Church. There's a huge issue too with the post-communist nations. Germany and the UK have the top GDP in Europe, making them the richest nations. The UK GDP per person is $40,000. Many of the European nations that we are working in have the lowest GDP. They're the poorest nations. Take Serbia, where Vlada is. The GDP per person there is $5,092. What that leads to is economic migration and the brain drain. People with any get up and go are going. I know a Lithuanian accountant in my town who is making more money working minimum wage in a meat processing factory than she would at home. Extending the kingdom of God into those towns and cities and villages as we plant churches will need new businesses at the same time. In almost half of Europe, if we're going to plant a church, we will need to be planting businesses at the same time. We'll need to provide jobs in the locality so that people stay. We want to obey Jeremiah 29 verse 7. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I've carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. We want to be able to help fund church plants too. When the West funds churches completely, that's not sustainable, not helpful in the long term, and it will hinder apostolic ministry emerging in those nations. We're going to need church leaders and business leaders walking together for the call. So in the next session, we're going to give you some simple tips and principles to engage with your business leaders better, which will bless them in their call to be extending the kingdom with their business. And it will help your church and the mission of Global 530, UK 140 and Europe 2050. Businesses will play a big part in this. Indeed, they already do. Many people who have already moved to other countries are involved in small businesses. Karen Ray, for example, has moved with her husband Malcolm to Malaga in Spain to help a church plant there. She says her part-time physiotherapy business gives her credibility for being there, helps her to build some relationships in the community, generates some income for herself and tithes towards the church. And most notably, she feels God has gifted her to care for others in this way. So she feels abundant life in doing it. Thanks for watching this session. Come back next time.